any specific stories that you'd want to tell? Like, I'm sure you've got a ton on your plate, a ton of ideas kind of stored. I know you guys are doing something with Russell Wilson coming up as well, but is there any specific thing, like a dream story? Like, I'd love to tell this story in this spe uh, specific way. Well, I think taking one step back, um, the fact that I have found my way into this job, <laughs> you know, this career path, right is beyond one story it's like i, I look at my slate every day and i go you know I, i'm looking at it, i'm like oh wow like a, we're doing a you know we're pitching a scripted series on high school basketball like the friday night lights of you know to hbo max you know on friday and Dwayne wade's attached to it and oh we're doing two documentaries with james harden we have you know we're we're, we're Danica Patrick, we're filming something today on a magazine style show that we're doing. Oh, we're doing a documentary with the Boston Celtics and we're trying to get Chris Evans attached to that. We're doing one with the 40, like we're doing one with FC Barcelona. Like I sit there and I look at it and I go, like this, like I would watch everything that I'm going to make, I would watch, right? Like, like as a fan, because I sit here on Netflix and I'm like, oh, let me watch this, let me watch that. Last Dance, like, yeah, of course. Right. You know, Ted Lasso, like in a heartbeat, like anything that's sports related, I'm going to watch. And so, the fact that I'm I'm in the I'm in the business of making those stories and those things come to life is just like pinch me. Like this is like you know it's it's um, you know it's everything I could have wanted to do. I just didn't know that this is where I'd end up. It just but again that goes back to my follow your you know follow your convictions. And I, I if you would have told me. Um, you know, when I was in college, like you're going to own a branding agency when you're, you know, when you're in your late twenties, I would have said, I don't even know what branding is. Like, what do you mean? What's an agency? Like, I don't know what that is. And if you would have told me when I was in my late twenties that I'd be a movie producer, I'd be like, I still, to this day, I'm like, I'm not, like, I'm not, like I'll get a credit, but like, I'm not a producer. Like, no, well, I guess I am. I don't know. You know, it's like, it's just, you just do what's in front of you. And like, I've been, I, I think, blessed with that curiosity and courage to go chase it. And so it's like, oh, yeah, let me go do that now. And like, I have friends that call me up and they're like, so what the fuck are you going to do next? Like you go into like with Elon Musk and flying to Mars, like what's like next on the agenda? And it's like, I have like long range ADD. Like I, I can, I don't get distracted in the moment. I get distracted after like three years. Then it's like, all right, now I've kind of done that. Like, what do I want to do next? And so, you know, it just that, and the challenges grow organically. It's kind of what you're interested in. You know, content was something I've been interested in a long time in different ways and storytelling for a long time in different ways. And it was like trying to figure out a manifest. And it's funny because I actually felt like two or three different times I built business plans like in the last 10 years for this business. I didn't know it. I was, that's what I was building. I was just like, how would I create an agency or a production company? I didn't even know what a studio was. And then, you know, over time I start doing more of that stuff. And then, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh wow, I meet Basil. And it's like, this guy's a, actually a real big time fucking movie producer. Like right. he produced like, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of hit movies and knows how the mechanics of that process works, knows everyone in Hollywood, knows, and all of a sudden we become buds and we start talking about it and he's inviting me to, he's like, we should launch a company together. And I'm like, wait a second, you're like a big time movie producer. Like, I don't even, like, I don't even know how that happened. Like, I just met you through a friend and now we're talking about doing business together. So, you know, I think it's, you know, some of it is like just keeping your antenna up too. <laughs> you never know what's around the next corner.